to estimate the percentage of adults who support abolishing the penny. What size sample should be obtained if he wishes the estimate to be within four percentage points of the 99% confidence interval? So I've already got the solutions here, but you want to figure out how to find these, especially if you have different numbers. So the percentage points with a 99% confidence interval. So we want to find uh, 99%. So 99% is going to be 1 minus 0.99. So this is right tail. And then we get 0 0.01 divided by 2. So this is down here. And you see this 2.576. This is the Z, assuming you you don't base it off of degrees of freedom. And we're going to round to two decimal places. So 2.58 is the value I'm going to use. And then we want it within four percentage points. So that's point. That's 0 0.04. So essentially, this is my setup here. Um, A, I'll show you. But P hat minus 1 minus P hat times um, uh, our confidence interval. Uh, it's something like this, I guess. I, all right, sorry. And then divided by error, so S squared. So this ends up being um, 0.32 times 1 minus 0.32 times 2.58 over point, or 0 0.04 squared. And what we get is um, 905.27 because we want, it, uh, in this instance, we need whole values because this is, this is regards to discrete units, entire whole units. So you can't get with 905, but 906. So you, you go to 906, you round the 905, round it up to 906. All right, so for part B, what happens if you have no prior arrange, uh, if you have no prior estimates? This whole p hat times one minus p hat uh, part of the equation, you just replace it with 0 0.25. And where that's derived from is, is it's uh, 0 0.5, because 50-50 is the best way to do it, times one minus 0 0.5. 0.5 times 0.5, which is 0.25. And then again, just the 2.58 over the 0 0.04 squared. And you end up with an estimate of, oops, we get 1040.06, and we're going to round that up to 1041. And that's the solution for B. So anyway, I really hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video and you make sure you have a great